You'll go to hell if you've lived in sin. So say your prayers, cause here comes Grim. For the past 15 weeks or thereabouts, I've been running this choose your own adventure thing on, on my channel. Every Friday, uh, without fail, I don't think I missed one, for 15 weeks, there's been a video that initially set up a story and then provided options for people who were watching to, to click on a little drop down poll and then that would guide the story for the, for the next week. And it wasn't as successful as I would have liked it to be. So I think it's worth just having a quick think about why that might have been. So I do have a gaming audience for my channel and I was hoping to reach out and, and reach other people. Poll games like this did well on blogs a long time ago. I thought that might work. I thought it would increase people's engagement because they would vote and then want to see if their vote won and would want to see what happened next week and so, and so on. Uh, but it never really seemed to get traction. I mean, it should have. There was a crossover audience with people who like stories, people who like writing and so on. I guess there was the lack of immediacy because you had to wait a week each time, but a, a weekly serial, a weekly episode is, is pretty standard, I suppose. If I'd done it daily, I don't think it would have worked particularly. So why didn't it why didn't it work? I think the episodes were too short, but then I wanted to make a break wherever there was a meaningful decision to be made. But short videos suffer in the YouTube algorithm, uh, basically if you're under, under 10 minutes. Um, so that didn't help. Most of them were demonetized. I don't really understand why, or at least partially demonetized. I don't really understand why because there wasn't a great deal of swearing, there wasn't anything particularly graphic. Um, so I, I don't know why that happened, but that doesn't help you on the search algorithm and the related videos either. So that was against me. It was too short, demonetized, and failed to really find its audience. I think there was a hardcore of maybe 30 people who seemed to come back every every week to check to check it and see how it was doing. So in, in terms of growing the channel or engaging my audience, uh, it was pretty much a, a catastrophic failure. But I did learn a lot from it. Um, I learned a lot of, in terms of presentation. I learned a lot in terms of uh, sound editing and, and video editing skills to the point where you know I was basically making a radio play every week, albeit you know two to five minutes long only. But that was good it was fun it was interesting I learned a lot from doing that so that was that was worth doing on that basis at least and I think I made a few sales of machinations and the space princess off it which yeah, is, isn't too shoddy I think a few people two or three maybe got got interested in it via the choose your own adventure videos and, and went off to check it out so you know not that positive as a video experiment, reasonably positive in terms of learned skills and you know, reaching a couple of potential customers. That, that was about it though. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I was really hoping this would work because it was, it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a nice idea and would have done more sort of similar things with different genres and, and so on later on. But um, yeah, it just didn't really take off. Maybe I should try doing radio plays of stories instead you know with a bit of sound effects and me reading and some graphics in the in the background or something maybe, maybe people would like that maybe that would be something else I could try but for the time being uh, no more of this kind of thing I think um, yeah it was a lot of effort it took as much effort as it normally does for me to put out a, a, a 10 minute 15 minute 20 minute video to and often more to put one of these together because of all the sound and other editing that, that went into it. So it was a huge amount of effort for relatively little reward or views or subs. So I guess I, I won't be doing that again. It's, it's a shame. I thought it might be fun and thought I may have found something new uh, that could hook into people, but uh, apparently not. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you've got any suggestions 
now that I have a gap in my schedule uh, of anything you'd like to see me do, like a, as a like a mini series or something, I could do something on every every Friday. I quite liked the regularity of having something set up to do every week. So if there's anything in particular you'd like me to talk about or do a series on, uh, hit me up. All the usual social media, you know where to find me. Really, take it easy. Zang. Machinations of the Space Princess is an old-school RPG with a sci-fi setting. The rules are familiar and at once innovative. Opened up so you can play literally any alien species you can envision. Purchase it at RPG Now or Lulu.com.